Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nutty Buddy Nation. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's vlog. I am here today starving like Marvin. It's 8 a.m. I just got through taking a shower. Uh, I went outside and rounded up all my trash, the boxes and everything, and threw everything away. And now I am, a video just got through uploading and it's on YouTube live now. So I'm getting ready to go outside. Today, uh, I didn't put my last solar panel on the van because I needed some more brackets. Uh, I needed three more brackets, so I got the brackets in from Amazon and I'm gonna put those on the van today. And also I forgot when I put that other panel up on the end, I have a light bar that I need to put up and I think I need to take that other solar panel down so that I can get up there and put that light bar up. So I need to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna work on that today or not though because I'm also building my battery bank shelfy thingamajig. And uh, yeah, I'm working on that. And yesterday I was working on it and uh, the board fell off and hit me in the head, y'all. So I got a knot right there on top of my head. But I'm hungry and I'm getting ready to get me something to eat. Luckily, we prep eggs and sausage breakfast sausage so i do have some boiled eggs in here that i could eat and some breakfast sausage and also if i want to eat some spaghetti or something i could eat some of that so i'm just gonna eat some boiled eggs some breakfast sausage, and I still have some yogurt in there. I don't know if the yogurt is good or not, but yeah, I still have some yogurt in there. And How's everybody been doing today? Like my stomach is really, really, really scratching my back right now. <laughs> my stomach is scratching my back. Girl, my stomach is really scratching my back. So what I do is I warm up the breakfast sausage first. I think I'm gonna take three of them. Warm those up first for like 30 seconds or something like that. And then I take my eggs and put it in there. I just need to put something in my stomach before I go outside because, yeah, I be going outside and working on the van and stuff. And I'll end up being out there. I'll end up being out there all day. So, yeah, I definitely need to eat something right now because I'm feeling a little, like, dizzy, fainterish, not, not good. So, that's what made me say, let me come in here and give me something to eat because I'm not feeling that good. I got some yogurt, plain Greek yogurt is very good for you. Uh, mm, I hope it's still good. Let me see. You know, yogurt tastes kind of plain yogurt. Oh, wait, oh, hold on. Plain yogurt. They sizzling. I usually try to stop them before that. 
I'm gonna take three eggs, maybe four. Miss Charlene bought a lot of eggs because she really likes having the bald eggs and she snack a lot at night. So she says she needs something else to snack on besides candy and chips and stuff. I thought I just had. So she got some boiled eggs. She wants some boiled eggs. Let me see if this is okay. Plain yogurt. It's already bitter. So, like, how do you tell if it's not good? Oh, it tastes even worse when you just brush your teeth. So y'all tell me how y'all been doing. <sighs> I've been doing okay. I'm a little kind of, sort of. Not frustrated, but This van bill is very time consuming, especially when you're trying to customize a lot of stuff. Anybody could throw a van bill together. Father God, thank you for the food we're about to receive in Jesus' name. I just rinsed off the apple. Anybody Can just throw a van bill together. Put some wall up, insulate. And call it a day. Put a piece of plywood on the floor. Doing a van bill. It's easier said than done. Like. Until you get into the working and doing it yourself. And then if you're doing it alone. Luckily. I have a if I need a hand with something luckily I have a somebody where I could get a hand or help like this morning with the solar panels once I get ready to put the solar panel on top of the roof, I'm going to need a hand. My solar panels are huge. But yeah. Doing a van bill is easier said than done. It's a lot of work. 
and especially when you want to do something that you don't know how to do, but you got to figure it out. I wish I knew woodworking. I eventually would love to do woodworking and building stuff and learning how to build stuff on a professional level, like furniture making and stuff like that. I'd love to have my own workshop one day. I'm not a professional. I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. That is doing whatever I could do. My DIYs, doing it to the best of my ability. Sometimes you, you get it right the first time. And sometimes you make a mistake and you have to do it over. And sometimes you hit your head and get a knot upside your head in the process. <laughs> it's a part of learning. When you just have to hit your head and get back up. So, I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. And I'm going to see y'all when I get outside. Y'all let me know what y'all doing in the comments. Let me know if y'all... Or doing y'all own van bill. Because a couple of y'all told me y'all bought y'all own vans. Yay! A couple of y'all bought y'all vans. And y'all are starting on y'all van bills. So let me know if y'all doing them by yourself or if y'all have help. And things are so high, you guys, right now. Let me give y'all a tip. I know things are high. Whether it's going to be on your floor or your walls or you're going to build out your cabinets. Do not use regular plywood. Use, I think it's pine. Use the birch or the pine, three quarter inch. Uh, but baby, let me tell you, don't use regular plywood. I came to that conclusion. <laughs> From being in Nevada and being in this heat and watching that plywood rip apart at the seams, the glue does not hold. 
it's not a very good product, but that's what a lot of people use. And everything has doubled in price. Wood has doubled in price. Screws have doubled in price. Everything has doubled in price. So, even though the wood has doubled in price, that doesn't mean the quality has gotten any better. Now, like the regular plywood is like three quarter inches, like $35, $39 a pop, a sheet. And the pine is, I think $49.99 a sheet, $50 pretty much, but it's a better product. I think I need to do a video showing y'all the difference. Let me know in the comments if that's what y'all want me to do. But most definitely, if you can afford to use the birch, use the birch because the birch come in different thicknesses. The pine is only coming in three quarter inch. So if you want a thicker pine or a thinner pine, there are not that many options. There's more options in the birch, but the birch is more expensive. Like one sheet of three quarter inch birch, I think it's like $98. That's why I decided to go with the pine. The pine is $49. So I could pretty much get two sheets of pine for the price of the birch. Now, when I need a thinner size, cause right now I'm building my cabinets and stuff with the three quarter inch, I will use the three quarter inch to build my cabinets with, but it's a little too thick to put on your walls and your ceiling. So when I get ready to put some wood on my walls and my ceiling. I'm gonna go with a thinner material, but I'm gonna go with the birch, but it's not gonna be cheaper than a three quarter inch ply, pine. So, that's something to consider. If anybody have any questions about the plywood, let me know. You know how they say, measure twice and cut once. Measure four, five, six, seven, eight times and think of your design all the way through before you cut. Think of it all the way through before you cut. And if you make a mistake, on plywood, do not throw that wood away. Trust and believe. You could reuse it for something else. So I have a whole pile of wood that's leftover scraps from other stuff I was cutting on and some wood that I'm was using for one thing, I changed my mind. I save all that wood. Then I go to my scrap pile. And that's one thing about buying good wood or a better quality wood. It, we it weathers better. 
especially when you're doing your van build and you got your wood outside and stuff in the heat. It weathers better. There's a good disadvantage. I mean, advantage. There's a good advantage to being in the desert and doing a van bill. You don't really have to worry about it raining and your material getting wet. That's a big deal. I remember when I was doing my van bill in Houston, there would be some days I couldn't work on my van because it was pouring down raining. Or there would be some days I would be working on my van and out of nowhere, it started pouring down raining. <laughs> now, the Nevada and Arizona is hot as heck. So working through that heat in the summertime was hard. But at least I didn't get rained out and my material gets messed up because it's raining. That's the plus in doing your van bill in Arizona and Nevada. So anywho, y'all, I'm almost through eating. <laughs> couple of more bites of egg. Couple of more bites of sausage. Couple of more spoons of yogurt. And I'm gonna drink me a bottle of water. And I'm going to head outside. So I'm going to talk to y'all in a few. Congratulations again to everybody who is embarking on van life and you've purchased a new vehicle this year. Also, congratulations on building out your new van. Remember that you don't have to uh, do it all at once. Take your time, do it at your own pace and do it to your satisfaction. Remember, this is your home. And the only person you have to please is yourself. Think long and hard about your floor plan before you start building out your van and making decisions. So that way, the decisions that you do make uh, in the future are based on the things that you want uh, in your van. Uh, I'm building out my battery bank and I'm also making a combination of a shoebox. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see that in full effect in future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a blessed day. Bye now.